This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Les y vont en rouler! Woohoo! Right. Kansas! C'est bon, c'est bon, c'est bon. That's about it for my French. For your French. <laughs> um, well, I can say un peu. <laughs> I can too. Parlez-vous français? Un peu. Un peu. That's it. Yeah. Un peu. <laughs> <laughs> so, Friday is best deal day. So, I wanted to do a story about all the the French connections that are in <laughs> Kansas, and there are a lot of them, a lot of, of French settlers. Um, the Billard Sardoux, you know, right here in Topeka, the Metro mm -hmm. Castle that we have right here in Topeka. Yeah. But there are just French names all over the state, and it's just a wonderful time to, to think about those. You know, we think about the Germans a lot and the Irish, but there's still a lot of French influence here. I was in Paris one year for Bastille Day, and um, it was super fantastic. And then I got to lead a, a staff ride at the Command and General Staff College for visiting French officers one year. And that was, uh, was stinking awesome. It was, yeah. it was wonderful. And I knew the national anthem, and I sang it, and they were just all so. Yeah. yeah, so it was it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Yeah. And whenever they talk, you know, you hear stories about oh, the French, they're all chicken or whatever. No, 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 not true, <laughs> not true. There's some tough birds. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay, lazy roule, bon temps. Lazy le bon temps roule. There we go. <laughs> French explorer Louis Joliet first used the names Kansas and Missouri on a map. He did not visit the area himself, but helped gather information for others who would come. The French first entered Kansas looking to create trade relations with the native people. The French traded guns, metal, and alcohol for furs. In great demand across Europe, fur collection from the New World made fortunes for many Frenchmen. Claude Charles du Tisnay established trade with the Osage and Pawnee. It proved profitable for all sides. As the French built trade relations with American Indians and intermarried with native peoples, eventually the United States bought the Louisiana Purchase, which included the area of Kansas. After Kansas was established as a territory, French settlers continued to settle in the state. Ernest Valeton de Boissier, a former French army engineer, envisioned a utopian community where all would share in the responsibilities and the rewards. His Franklin County town of Silkville boomed, then failed, and he returned to France. But many others stayed, forever leaving their marks and their names on Kansas. We hear these words every day, often without realizing their origins. Voltaire was named for Francois-Marie Auriette de Voltaire, French writer and philosopher. Bourbon County for the French royal family. Louisburg was named for King Louis the 14th, 16th, and was originally called New St. Louis. The name was changed to Louisburg in 1870 when the Missouri, Kansas, and Texas Railroad was built through the town. Marquette for Father Jacques Marquette, with Louis Joliet, found and explored the Mississippi River in 1673. Frontenac, Louis de Bois de Frontenac, governor of New France in the late 1600s. Labette, Kansas, Pierre Labette, settler. La Harpe, for Bernard de La Harpe, French explorer. Huguetin was named for Victor Hugo, a French author and poet who died the year the town site was laid out. When the post office was established, it was given the name of Hugoton, lest it be confused with Hugo, Colorado, which is not far away. Hugoton was founded in 1885. Belle Plaine means beautiful plain in French. La Cine is French for the swan. Wild swans once nested on the Merdicine River by which La Cine is located. Merdicine means Marsh of the Swans. Originally, La Loupe was named Ferguson for an early day merchant. The railroad company named the station La Loupe, which means the wolf in French. The French settlers heard wolves howling at night and would exclaim, La Loupe, 
so the town was given this name. The post office was established in 1870. Sedan, established in 1871, received its name from Sedan, France, where the Battle of Sedan was fought. Zurich was settled by French Canadians who named the town for Zurich, Switzerland. Happy Bastille Day. Well, we've had too much fun. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. Happy Bastille Day. And we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas. Gateway to Oz. Under the Closed rain. captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.